Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I've got a Blu-ray update video for you this time, as opposed to a um, unboxing video. I mean, I know I unboxed the Omen already, but uh, that's the only thing on the stack here that I've um, did a video for already. So uh, I decided that I'm just kind of getting a little bored, I guess, with unboxing videos. And I, I'm not saying I won't do any more of them, but I think I'm going to cut them back a little bit and maybe do something like this instead, where I just do an update video. It's funny because I was just talking to um. Uh, Teddy Bobby, um, just a week or so ago, maybe less, uh, I was watching one of his um, Madden streams, and he mentioned that he was look, look, thinking about these videos I used to make. I used to make these kind of videos all the time, um, just giant stacks of movies, and I would buy all the fucking time, and I just don't do that anymore. Well, I don't do that with such frequency anymore. And I kind of just started shifting to the unboxing videos, because I, personally, that's what I wanted to see of um, new releases. Like, things like The Omen here, I would have, I love seeing unboxings and seeing what's inside and if there's any other special features or whatnot. So I kind of started doing that. And um, it's just getting to the point where I don't buy big things like this as much anymore. I'm buying, you know, as you can see here, I bought the Shining Steel book. And do you really need to see what's inside here? Like, unless there's like a special thing here and it's like, I don't know, like there's so many videos or channels that just do strictly unboxing videos that I just kind of got, I felt saturated when I was doing it so I would not do it that often. Um, Except for things like this, and especially if I got them a little early, I'd be like, well, at least people can see them. Um, but anyway, uh, like I said, I'm not planning on skipping them from now on, but for things like this, I might do them, but just not necessarily for every random steelbook I get. But anyway, I'll, maybe I'll do things like this instead. What I've got is a stack here like I used to do. I just stack them right here and then show you what I got one by one. And uh, that could be fun. Tell me what you think of it. Like, like I said, it's been a while since I did this, so maybe I'll be rusty at it, but uh, I guess it's not pretty... <laughs> Just talk about what you got. So how about this? Um, like I already said, I got The Shining. There's a story that goes along with this about me ordering this um, for Best Buy.com and then getting a piece of cardboard in the mail with a shipping label on it. Um, there was a whole debacle about getting the replacement one, and uh, it was really funny, but it wasn't funny. Um, but I did eventually get this, and I, like I said, after I did finally get it, I didn't feel like making a video about it, so, you know. Uh, I posted it on Instagram. So if you want to see every single, every single thing I get, I post pretty much every time I get something on Instagram. Um, so there's that. Um, this does have a spine slash, if you notice, which I don't appreciate. And it's actually, it's like pronounced a little bit, so I can, you can feel that. I don't usually, I can't usually like do that to it, and that's really annoying me. But, uh, you know, what, what can you do? Um, let's see. I got Child's Play. Uh, the new one, and I did watch this already. Um, I how do I put this? I'm not. I'm not I like I like the original Todd's play from what I don't even know what year it is, nineteen eighty eight or something. Um, it's a fun film. It's very um, creepy, and it's got that the whole voodoo thing about transferring your body and stuff. And I can understand why they wanted to stay away from that because this using technology made I guess quote unquote more sense. Um, and. This film specifically, I honest, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was not bad at all. But uh, it, it's, it was just weird seeing it with the, the Chucky outfit and the Chucky face. Even though this face, I think, is kind of weird by itself. And um, storyline was, um, I mean, I don't want to say believable, but I guess sort of believable. I guess more believ believable than the original Child's Play with the voodoo and the body swapping shit. Um, but um, the acting I thought was fine. The kills were pretty good. Um, Aubrey Plaza as the mom is weird because Aubrey Plaza looks like she's perpetually, well, I mean, currently she looks like she's in her late 20s. She's like 36. So um, she, very, she plausibly could have a child of that Andy's age. It's just that she would have been very young when she had him. But um, I guess they made it kind of weird. But at the same time, I mean, obviously it worked. But uh, I thought it was not bad. I would watch more of these. Um, I'm assuming they're going to make more. They left it open. And, um, because of course they did. Um, I, I guess I don't have anything else to say about it. I didn't check, did I check out any special features? I might have started looking at this making of Child's Play, but I don't, so I don't know anything else about them. I'm sure they're, you know, fine. But, uh, yeah, I didn't hate it. I thought it was alright. I recommend it if you, if you're a tertiary fan of Child's Play, then I have no problem with it. If you're a huge, huge fan of original Child's Play, you're probably gonna like, dislike it because it doesn't, it does things very differently. Um, but there's plenty of kills, there's plenty, and obviously, the Chucky in this too is not, you know, Brad Dourif, it's not, like, a sadistic serial killer who's, like, happily killing people. 
Uh, this is more, it's voice voiced by Mark Hamill, and he did a good job, actually, but he sounds very much like Mark Hamill slash the Joker a lot, I thought. So it was kind of weird listening to this voice coming out of Ch uh, Chucky, and it was very much clearly Mark, Mark Hamill's voice. But um, maybe that's just me, because I know about the stuff he's done, and uh, hearing his voice was kind of weird for me. But uh, I think, it, I thought it was fine. I'd like much more. The Haunting of Hill House, this is something I did not need to buy, because it's on Netflix, and it's never going to go away from Netflix. Um, but I enjoyed the hell out of this show. This is embossed. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I really like this show, and I recommend it to anybody who will watch it or who will listen. Uh, especially now this month, watching it for like 31 Days of Horror and stuff. It's a fantastic series, a ghost story slash haunting story about a family that um, resides in this house when they're kids. And then so much weird shit happens to them that they're, when they're adults, some more weird shit happens to them to bring them back as a group to talk about the house again. And it's, it's really cool. I'm not going to talk about any more than that, but it's... Uh, good casting too. The acting, I think every single actor in here, even the child actors, were great. Like, and I don't usually say that about children actors because it's it's so hard to to get some good actors. But I think every single one of these kid actors was great. And Cara Gugino was great. And um, what's his face? Henry Thomas was great. Timothy Hutton was great. Everyone was great. I recommend the hell out of this. And this actually, the special features on here are just extended episodes and some commentaries. I don't think there's anything else on here. Which is typical, I guess, of a um, Netflix release. But um, I recommend the hell out of that. Check it out. It's I think this was thirty bucks at Best Buy, and I think probably online too. Um, this was a gigantic disappointment. This uh, not the, not the series or anything. The series was great. I was really happy to buy this, and then actually buy it twice because I pre-ordered the bigger set too. But I got this thinking this was like a, a digi pack, like a, like a I don't have anything. I guess sort of like a case like this, like a thick case and you could pull out a couple different cases for it um but no it is one of these cheapo plastic things with the stacked discs on top of discs and i i despise this packaging unless it's for something like dvds and it's just i got it for 20 bucks but this was 60 dollars, which i guess technically isn't awful for all of this and it's blu-ray and it's got all this, the special features that came with this originally the first two seasons and the first the third season um I think, yeah, I think that there's nothing else besides the movie and stuff and other extra features. Um, there's nothing missing from this set, as far as I know, but I I, I despise this packaging. I mean, look at that. Like, there's, like, how many discs are in here? Does it say? Like, 60, yeah, 16 discs set all stacked together like this. Like, I, I just, I don't like it at all. Um... So yeah, honestly, I'm gonna probably return this and just just stick with the um, the bigger set. There's a bigger set coming out in December called uh, Twin Peaks from Z to A, and it has the exact same discs um, plus um, the movie A Fire Walk with Me, and then it's gonna have another disc or two actually of um, some 4K episodes, which I guess is kind of silly. There's only that the pilot's gonna be 4K, and then a couple episodes from the limited series are gonna be 4K. Which, again, insinuates to me that they're gonna, obviously going to release this oh, entire set in 4K at some point. But they're just, like, testing the waters or something. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, I, I thought about that at first and thought, well, maybe they should, they should just wait and thought, like, release the whole thing in 4K. But, I mean, I'm not going to. I'm just going to buy it now. But, yeah, this one, I mean, if you can buy it if you want if, if, for 60 bucks, And it'll probably be cheaper at some point. Maybe around 40 bucks. Well, 40 bucks for this out, I guess, would be pretty okay. I guess if this, if this if you just wanted to pop a disc in, but I, the packaging to me is important to me, so I don't like this at all. So I'm just, I'm probably gonna return it. I got that from Amazon, by the way, so I don't have to do with the whole shipping thing. They did sell it at um, Best Buy though, too, in stores. So if you did if you did want it, they do sell it in stores. But why would you want it? Um, oh yeah, I got this too. This was a couple weeks ago. I got this um, Chernobyl, the uh, miniseries from HBO. Fantastic, fantastic show. I loved the hell out of this. Very good, well acted. Very, like, I don't want, I wouldn't say chilling, but just like, just horrifying to see what happened. And this, I mean, a lot of this was taken from actual facts that happened um, in Chernobyl, uh, in, that, in the Chernobyl plant in 1986, is that what it said? 1986, yeah. And it takes you through um, the year and a half or so, or two years even, that this all happened, the first initial, what happened, fallout, I mean, the, the, the explosion, and then the fallout of it, 
following the characters that started it, following people who died. It was horrifying, and it was real. So that's actually it was just it was very well acted, very well directed. It was just it was amazingly well done. I I loved it. Um, I was very interested personally in the Chernobyl incident anyway. I had read about it before. I had known about it, but um, just seeing some more in depth information about it besides some documentaries you've seen, it just it was just very fascinating. And like I said, horrifying and terrifying that something like that could have happened and was this close to destroying so many things. Um, I recommend it wholeheartedly. Um, there's some bonus features on here too. I think they're, the inside of the episodes are all on here, some two featurettes. Um, I think there are some commentaries? Oh, maybe not. But a lot of cool behind-the-scenes stuff. Jared Harris was great. Skill and Scars, Jared Emily Watson. The entire cast was great. I recommend the hell out of it. Check it out. This is like... Uh... 30 bucks, I think. It's about the same price as the um, Haunting Hill House. Uh, what else to get? Oh, actually, I guess I could show these next couple off. I just got these, like, yesterday. Um, so, I guess to start first, I got the blob because I ordered this months ago. I think maybe back in August or something. Maybe even July. Huh, yeah, I think I ordered this back in July. Back when I first heard about it. Um, I think this movie's great. It's another remake that I think is better than the um, original film, kind of like The Thing. Um, and here's the original poster. I did actually have this um, film on Twilight Time, but I sold it a little while ago, especially once I realized they were releasing it on Screen Factory. I wanted a... Um, I wouldn't say better copy, because that, that, that version was fine. I think that was a 2K transfer. This, is this a 2K transfer? Maybe it's the same transfer. I guess I'll have to find out. But um, So I sold that one, and then I pre-ordered this one, and... Um, uh, I like the artwork on it. I like the old artwork, and I think there's some new special features on here that you can too, take a look at here. Oh, some commentaries and some oh, and some more commentaries and some interviews. Maybe there is there not a new transfer? I thought there was. Well, that's lame if that's true, but you know, I so I ordered that a while ago. I recommend it if you haven't seen it. I recommend checking it out. If you have seen it, you already know. Um, so there's that. But then, not like, like I said, I ordered that months ago. But right now. Uh, Scream Factory, Shock Factory, is doing a Shocktober Fest or Shocktober sale on um, their website, and they've got a bunch of stuff on sale. Uh, I think for the rest of the month, um, regular titles, actually some newer titles that are around eighteen bucks to fifteen bucks. Which, if you're if you've been waiting for some things, it's, it's not a bad deal. It's but you know some of them are ten dollars cheaper, twelve dollars cheaper than they've been usually. But there were some things that were about five bucks. Some that were ten. But these three right here that I got, I got for $5 each. Although, um, all of these are gone now. They were gone pretty quickly, actually. So I got in there pretty early, and I didn't realize I was that early um, that it had just started. But uh, I was lucky enough to get these. I got Ghost Stories, uh, Pie Wacket, and Elizabeth, Har excuse me, Elizabeth Harvest. And I was surprised to see that they all came with slipcovers, which is awesome. I was not expecting that at all. I just assumed they would not, and I didn't care, really. But... Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I haven't seen any of these, but uh, for five bucks, I want to give them a shot. And they do have um, alternate cover art, too. At least these two do. I don't think. See that? I like it. I read the descriptions before I bought them, and I thought for five bucks, I'm going to give it a shot. This one does not have alternate, but uh, it's still cool. Elizabeth Harvest. There were a couple others, too, that were five bucks that I just either didn't want, or I think I've already seen before, or I could I could watch them on um, like Voodoo or something. But, um, see, so yeah, I didn't get those, but I got, so I got those three. That was all I got from the, um, sale. But it's, it is still going on if you want to check it out. There's just less stuff on there now because it's every day it goes by. Um, I guess I could show these two. I got these just a couple days ago because Hellboy released this last week on 4K. And then when I got that, I just wanted to get Hellboy 2 because I did not have it on 4K. I do have these films on Blu-ray and I think even, like, Steelbook somewhere. Maybe. And I think I got the digital copies, too. So I just like Hellboy. I like these two films. I'm really, really, really pissed off that they did not make a third one, and they made that other film instead, which I didn't hate. You know, the David Harbour version, it was, you know, it, it was it was fine, but it was not this. I really, really wanted more of this, but, you know. So I kind of just, you know, decided to get these, kind of, because I wanted them. I like this artwork, too. I really do like Golden Army, too. Uh, there's nothing special about this, I think, or these films. It's just, there's no 4K, that's all. And they were cheap-ish. 20 bucks and 15 bucks respectively. Annabelle Comes Home. Um, I got this two weeks ago. I think, something like that. 
I got this from Warner Brothers, and I have not watched it yet. I was going to watch it this weekend, but a lot of shit's happened this weekend. That's kind of pushed me away from being able to watch that shit, so I'm, I'm going to have to actually sit down and watch these maybe this week. I don't know. We'll see. But So I haven't watched it yet. I have watched, I've only watched the first Annabelle, which I honestly did not care for that much. Um, and I have not seen a second one, Annabelle Creation, but I do have that too, actually. Hold on. I have them right here. See? I actually have slip covers for all of them too. Look at Annabelle with that reticular that's kind of showing the eyes darting back and forth. That's the original release. With the, this came out, I think, back in uh, August or September. I don't remember. These with these uh, Best Buy exclusive like reticulars. I got that, and then I bought this like a year or so ago. I don't know why. I just I wanted. They just wanted it. I don't know. I do that sometimes. I'll just buy something because it's on sale. It's probably twelve bucks or something. And then I just felt like getting it. Annabelle Creation, which is apparently good. And Annabelle Comes Home, which is also apparently not bad. At least better than the first one. So I really should be watching these because, like I said, if I don't want to base it on the first film, which apparently is universally disliked, but they made two more and they did better on them. So. I'll have to check it out. And I will at some point. And then finally, I got a couple things. Well, I guess I'll do this one quick. I got Toy Story 4, um, just because, you know, I've got the other three. I have not seen it yet. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm probably not going to watch this for a while, but uh, I do have it whenever I want to. I'm sure this will be on sale, too, for Black Friday, so I probably could have just waited, but I didn't. I got three from Hell. And I also was not planning on buying this either, but I was noticing online it was hard to find, especially in 4K. I could not find a 4K in store anywhere, and online it was sold out for a month or so. So I thought, well, and so was the Blu-ray actually, but I found this, when I went to buy something else, I saw this, there was one copy at my Best Buy, and I checked on my phone to see if there was any, like, this is, uh, if there was any more anywhere else, and they were further away, there were a couple, like, the store has one copy left, or blah, blah, blah. So I just figured I'd get it. I have not watched this yet either. I've heard, honestly, I have mostly bad things about it, but I mean, I don't care. It's the last movie from Sid Haig. Um, even though we, I think he's barely in it, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. So I'll watch that at some point. And then lastly, um, I got High Life. And I can't tell you why. I just bought it because I was, at, I think I bought this at Target. I was buying groceries and I was, I always drive through, drive through. I always kind of walk through towards the um, movie section. And uh, I saw this was on sale for like sixteen ninety nine or something, and I thought, oh, sure. I just threw it on top. And then I bought it, and I just, I haven't seen it. I don't know. I heard it was all right. Robert Pattinson is actually a good actor. Juliette Binoche. Juliette Binoche. Andre Benjamin, which is uh, Andre 3000 from Outcast, And someone named Mia Goth. Yeah, I don't know. I got it, though, so. Anyway, that's everything that I bought this month, so far, anyway. There's, I mean, actually, there's at least one more thing I've got coming, so maybe I'll just do an unboxing of that to not add it to a pile here. Um, so yeah, what did you guys think of this? This is, like I said, I used to do this kind of shit all the time, but I just kind of stopped. So, you know, it was kind of fun, I guess. We get to like, talk about each thing individually, but anyway. It took a lot longer, <laughs> 18 minutes and counting. So yeah, let me know what you think of this, if you like this. I don't have to do this every time. Maybe I could just do unboxings once in a while. Or I could just do nothing, I don't know. I've been contemplating not doing much anymore, too. Because, uh, you know, like I said, I don't I don't buy... I mean, like I said, obviously, I buy plenty. But I used to buy way more than this. Um, so, you know. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep doing this. I think I'm going to keep doing it for now. Because there's still shit. I got shit pre-ordered and whatnot. And I'll just do unboxings occasionally. And then maybe I'll do these updates once a month or something. But, you know, let me know what you think. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you again in the future, I'm sure. So, have a good Halloween, have a good Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that shit if I do not see you for some fucking reason. But, um, at the very least, have a good Halloween. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.